far as I'm planning right now, at least, uh, this video is just going to be unboxing a ton of stuff. Uh, first up, we got covers for the turkeys. Boom, oh, some nice big stickers on them. Guess I should go grab the other turkey out of the car just to get the hell of it. Anything else in there? Like some bubble wrap. Is that another summit sticker? Boom, put that on uh, nothing. I thought it would be a little bit thicker. <laughs> Big old curtain thicker. Look at that. Wow, we riding in style, huh? Ooh, that's dope. Get my name embroidered right there. Yep. And yellow, I think yellow will match. Let me grab the other chair real quick. Alright, so here is the one I already have. Shout out to my boy, Michael. He tossed me this one. I don't think he ever used it. Biggest box. We put a whole bunch of stuff coming. Uh, what else we got? Uh, the tool for the cams. We got the bearings for the balance shafts. A the ARP bolt for the crank. What else? The actual seat brackets to the floor. Seat belts. Steering wheel I haven't showed you guys yet. And they really just throw this in here like that. Huh. There's no. No bubble wrap or nothing, it's just a seat <laughs> in the box. All right. Well, the difference I see is, well, this is a little different. It looks to be like just down here, though. It's like the stickers. The welds look about the same and everything. I don't see a difference. I thought there was holes in the side for some reason to let the belts go through. Hopefully this is tall enough. Well, let's take a look. I guess it is. It's like right at my hip. Where is it? It's about even. This won't be too bad. Really. Only thing that kind of bothers me is like the I guess like the bolster thing like the arms. There's no real you need to be in and be squished or out and too wide where it's like uncomfortable up in your arm up there. I mean if your hands are on the wheel that won't be too bad. Maybe shave them down a little bit. I don't know. We'll see. Throw a cover on one. See how she looks. Check that out. Looking good. I like it. It comes with a little bit of Velcro uh, on the back to attach. And then over here, I've got these little tabs that uh, attach to hold it down back there. So I'll do those in time. I'm thinking of actually getting these embroidered. Some yellow, maybe. Um, Maybe go over like the stitching, some yellow or something, I don't know. Or maybe some blue. We'll see. Probably blue. Anyway, we got brackets to open now. He has turkeys in his GTI and he told me where to get brackets and all this good stuff. So pretty simple. There's two for each one. I want to drill holes in the sides of the seats. Oh, they're zip tied together. Yep, of course. Basically one goes on each side, both into the sides, and then the bottoms here will mount onto the seat mount that I got from planted. Um, I guess this zip tie broke, so. I'm assuming you go like this, you know, be towards the back, pick your angle, you got multiple slots for angle, and then the, you the bolt to the seat, and these bolt to that, and then the other thing bolts to the floor, and you're good to go. Make it pretty simple. I wish that they had like pre-cut holes, or bolts or something in the seats, but they don't. So I have to line them up, hit them with a marker, hit them with a drill, hopefully they'll be even, I have to do some measuring, but... They're here. I'm adding more parts back to my part. And we got this guy. Last one for now. We got a whole bunch more stuff supposed to show up tomorrow, but with all the weather that happened in Texas, it's 
not looking like things are going to be here a long time. Oh, we got a sticker from Precision. Never got one before, so that's nice. Let's throw that up in the, in the hood. Well, they got a really nice uh, card there. Hmm. Stickers right here. Look at that. Fuel pump. So we got an O-ring, boom, new filter. There we go. This is a, uh, this is not a wall bro. I don't know. It's a 535. This is on there, no check valve. And, and smelling fuel, am I smelling fuel? I thought I would say 535 on it somewhere. F9. 90,295-32220-2 made in the USA. Oh, there we go. 535. Ready to go in. All right, guys. Next day, got two packages here from ShopDap. Um, I'm hoping one is some hardware I ordered. I forgot about like the two longer bolts on the uh, timing side of the valve cover. So that should be, okay. This is a new high pressure fuel pump hardware. I ordered extra in case I had to take it off. Again, down the road, I got an extra set. Um, one time use. I saw somebody on, I probably could reuse the ones I have, but I saw somebody on whatever Facebook group page, they were used there a couple of times and the one, or I think they all backed out and it chewed up like the inside of the manifold. So I don't, I don't know. And then I ordered uh, two extra for the, uh, Cam cover. So I got four of those, six of those, and that. So this must be, hopefully, the uh, camshaft bearings, or my camshaft, balance shaft bearings. Yeah, one and two. Ooh, these. I didn't break them. No, but some of the bearings fell out of it. Damn it. Okay. I'm an idiot. Well, they pop right in. That's no big deal. You don't even have to open it up. Boom. It's gonna pop in there. Let's get to work. All right, guys, another package has arrived. That is not it. This is it. Now, not all of it came. I still have um, an additional piece coming. They're on back order. Whatever, go read them right now. I wasn't gonna buy them anyway, and I was like, ah, I'm gonna want them in the future. So, here we got, I don't even know. I just say them right in the end. Shroth? Shroth racing? Uh, these are harness grips. They go in the thing and make it easier for you to tighten your seat belts, which is what's in here. I need to actually text John back. He's got to send me my seat belts, but I don't want to destroy this box either. There we go. Woo, girl! I'm going to be nice. Tell you what. Go. Um, something like this. Yeah, buddy. So there should be a bolt here. It adds another point for this to go into. This one uses your OEM. The back two use the. Well, one gets a thing. I think this one goes uh, the seat belt in the back. So this will get a bolt itself. And those thingies I just showed you, they go here to help adjust these. Oh man, this is gonna be dope. 
I'm gonna go slap these in the Kirkies real quick, see how they look. Oh, the color's all off. There we go, how's that look? I didn't really show it until I get up close. That color is nice. And I got like, uh, I think they're blue with yellow. They're like covers. And they go like here or here or something. They go somewhere. This will be dope. Boom. So, in seat, essentially this is how it'll be. Probably be actually more like this. Um, you definitely don't want anything in your pocket. You're going to smash those. This is going to be so nice being sucked into this thing. I'm freaking excited. I don't know if I should go with this blue or this yellow for the embroidery. What do you think? Look at the yellow. Yeah, I think the yellow's going to do the move. You're not going to not going to answer me. You don't, don't have an opinion. What do you think? Nothing. You don't think either one? I mean, yeah, I think you could, but I don't know. It's so not there's, cut, there's, there's, there's red on it, so it's like... Those can get cut off. I'm not worried about that. They're just so thin. Let me get my name right there. Boom. The yellow. Here's going to be it. Alright. We'll go see you guys on the next unboxing. Hopefully it's painted brackets. I actually did unbox something earlier. Didn't show you guys. It's just a tool for the to be able to move the cam. Now once it's installed. Actually, right after this now, I'm going to go finish up the motor. Get the timing, get the cams. Everything timed. Get the covers on, spark plugs in, coil packs. The rest of the accessories, maybe even the high pressure fuel pump tonight. This is dope.